What's up, YouTubers? You back with your FTM boy up in the house again. Kumari 2009, aka Reno Slow Motion. Chilling in the Big Daddy chair. The wifey went to go visit her parents, so you know, I figure I'll go ahead, fresh out the shower with a fresh new cut, fresh new shades. Stunning. <laughs> nah. I'm just messing with you. Um, a lot of y'all want to know about FTMs or what made me be an FTM or vice versa. Information, how I started on T or whatever else. Um, <clears throat> I've been always FTM. Like I said, I've been done my research a long time ago. Uh, am I am I on testosterone? No. I haven't been on testosterone in three years. Yeah, I used to shoot, take my shots and stuff faithfully. But this is naturally, I've been off, I've been off on us for like four years now, four or five years going on. So I'm about to start back. I'm about to start back on. Uh, T boosters. Some of y'all ask me about what's the best way to find T boosters. The best thing I can tell you is to really, really shop around really shop around don't pick the first thing you see out there you know because it might cause some birth defects I mean not cause some birth defects <laughs> it might cause some defects which can withheld you from getting your surgery withhold you from getting your surgery so basically I would say go do your research like you know if you want your surgery do you, how you do your research on that that's kinda how you do that I did my research before I just picked it out, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to know what, how it might affect my body, what's the side effects on it, you know, um, and all that. Like I said, I ain't been on it that long, so, yeah, my voice got a little bit more deeper if you can check it out. But it, it's, it go through its moments. If you check out my videos, I got moments when my voice sounds, you know, eat, like it's cracking, because it's, it's going through its process. Um... Let's see, what else? I think y'all asked me about surgery, who I might get to, how did I find out about that? Basically, search. Search around hardcore, you know what I'm saying? Don't pick the first surger, sur, um, surgeon to do your surgery, no matter, regardless if it's top or bottom, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all think that a lot of FTMs want to have bottom surgery, and a lot of us don't, because I'm one of the people. I don't because I don't want to lose my sensation down there and I don't want to have any any problems later on that will affect me. You know what I'm saying? Um, you just don't really know your body 100%. You just don't know. Sometimes it be you can be feeling good the next day, you know, you're sick. You don't know why. So, same way with surgery. You don't know how your body is going to react to your surgery. So. If it's best not to mess with it, and if it's fine, and you feel you're going to be a great man with not having lower surgery, then that's good, you know what I'm saying? I do advise get hysterectomy. I do advise that for lower surgery. If you're going to have lower surgery, and you don't want to go through the vitoplasty and all that, um, then just have a hysterectomy, you know what I'm saying? It's because no matter if you're still on T, and this is a true thing, a lot of y'all think just because you're on testosterone and you don't get your ovaries taken out, you still can get pregnant. Yeah, you can you cannot have a period, but does not mean that just because you don't see a period every month for the beginning of your testosterone, you're gonna have still have your period until it really goes its cycle, you know, until it really stops, and you're gonna notice when it stops. Uh, so I would say. Get a hysterectomy because you never know. Some guys really, a lot of straight guys really don't like trans guys because, you know, they feel that we're taking their position or whatever, quote. And so I would say 
get it done because a lot of guys do hate and tend to, well, you're still a female, so, you know, I'm going to take it because I know you're still a girl. And some of them mentally will rape you. They, in their mind, they don't see you as a god, the man you are. They will see you as what you used to be. And in their mind, you was born a female, and you still are a female, and you haven't done nothing about it. So get lower hysterectomy surgery. So, you know, if something come about, you don't get pregnant like that, and people be, you know, the world is really cruel. I'm just saying, you know. Um, <clears throat> uh, what was I also talking about? Um, for surgeons, shop around. Really check the internet, check, do all your investigating on a surgeon. Because you really, really don't want to get the wrong surgeon, and they might cause something dysfunctions down there or you might want to go back for revision because it don't look right or you know what I'm saying you really want the best for your body you know what I'm saying you really want the best surgeon to do your surgery and me I picked Dr. Bronston because there was two doctors there was one in Texas and there was Dr. Bronston for my chest surgery and I picked Dr. Michael Bronston because he you don't he don't have too many trans guys going back for revision the first time he does it you, you're good, you know what I'm saying? You're good, he does all his checkups, you know, he makes sure you're okay. And when you come back, there's a lot of guys that say they, that he does great surgery. That you don't come back for revision. And you get the pec um, muscle structure that you're wanting. You know, it fits you. The nipple grass is great, you know what I'm saying? So, I say I would choose him. He's in California, basically. I'm supposed to go down there for, um for a consultation so I would choose him alright this is part one I really got to do another part two so y'all hit me up alright you the fucking best 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 you the best I ever had best I ever had best I ever had best I ever had I said you the fucking best you the fucking best you the fucking best you the fucking best you the best I ever had best I ever had I'm